Joe McKenzie here, your watercolor coach, Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 6, Episode 7. Thank you so much for watching these with me. It's really been a lot of fun and will continue to be for, for some more episodes to come or perhaps seasons, completely unknown. Let's get started. If you would consider leaving me a thumbs up and please subscribe, that'd be fantastic. I'm just a one person dog and pony show. So let's get started. All right, here we go. First, we start with the self portraits and we get to see the people holding the self portrait that they submitted in order to be on the program. This is always such a delightful moment. Wow, look at that one. Ooh, looking forward to seeing what she does today. So many talented people, my gosh. Wow, look at that one. Oh boy, this, this is gonna be a good program. I can feel it. <laughs> or that's, that's certainly what we hope. It, it, it's so much fun to see how people portray themselves and how they decide to either pose themselves or what they use as props. It gives you such a window into who they are. And I, I really enjoy that. And, and also a fresh take. There are just so many ways that you can show and represent yourself. So I think that's really important. Here's, oh wow, that's a gem of a painting if I ever saw one. Although it leans toward old masters and we know how they are about that, but uh, maybe they'll, maybe they'll um, be kinder this time. We will see. As you know, I do watch the program with the sound off. I don't want to hear the judges. I don't want to be influenced by them. Most importantly, I just, only one of them is a painter. So let's start with our first model. The first model up is Mike Lee. We always have a celebrity model, and Mike Lee is a writer and a director. I'm not familiar with his work, but I'm sure I've seen it because I watch a lot of the uh, BBC. Now, four hours into the um, process, artists turn their easels around and we get our first look at what they've done and he's gonna pick one of these to take home. That has nothing to do with the final judging, but it's certainly an honor. Wow, that's a, that's a darn good representation of the way he looked to me. Really nice, really direct. Not a lot of, um, no nonsense going on, that's for sure. Nicely done. So this, this makes a nice impression on me. It's, it's definitely a modern take in terms of the color choice. Oh, hello. Ooh, this is a much more painterly look. When I say painterly, what I mean is you can see the brush strokes. Nothing's concealed. You can see that it's, uh, you know, clearly not a photograph. Not that the other one looked like a photograph, but what it, it just has a lot of gestural work in it. This one has a lot of gestural work in it, too. He had in his portrait as well that he submitted that dripping thing at the bottom. So, you know, every time, uh, sometimes artists will just have a thing that they do, and that's what this guy does. Um, I'm not opposed to it at all. Um, it's a beautiful painting though. Wow, from far, I like to pull back. We didn't get much of a chance. In this particular segment, they hardly showed the contestants. So Mike Lee is gonna pick one, and let's see which one he takes home. Oh, okay, he takes the drippy one. Well, he, any of them would have been a good choice. So good for him. Now we go on to the next model, and the next model is Ken Stott. Ken Stott is a Scottish stage TV film actor. All right, so let's see what he looks like. I suspect he's going to be a handsome guy. Usually these actors are handsome guys or character actors. <laughs> he must be a character actor. Uh, so this this will be fun. This, uh, you know, when you, uh, I think it's a lot more fun to paint someone who has character as opposed to someone who is sort of a classic beauty in terms of, you know, completely sim um, symmetrical face and proportions. So I think this would be, um, if I was on the program, I would, I would like to paint him. So here's the first one up. Oh, that's so warm. Oh, look at all the warmth there. When I say warmth, I mean the warmth of the color wheel. You've got yellows and oranges and reds, really beautifully done. And you know what's really smart? They used a lot of green to mix the coat. So you, you have a lot of the complementary color going on here, which, which makes for a very, a very exciting use of color. It's subtly done, and that, that's a real gem. That's a beautiful painting. And here we've pulled back, because remember, the final uh, 
winner is going to be doing a gallery piece. So it's going to compete with some really standard looking paintings in a gallery. All right, here is the next one. This one is a little harder for me. Oh, they were smart about making that color choice that I was talking about in the first one in terms of leaning toward green when everything else is sort of um, orange-ish but uh, or reddish, but um, much less subtly done here. Pulling back, I, I like it better but something about it is just not coming together for me. Maybe he just didn't have enough time. It looks spotty is what I'm trying to say. Oh, this is a very painterly approach. Very painterly approach. Ooh, this is, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at all the purples going on. Look at all the color going on in the whites. Those grays are packed full of color. And again, the green with the jacket. And if I recall, yeah, see, yeah, he's not wearing a green, green jack. I mean, bright green. So they all had a nice take on, on that. That's a beautiful piece. Oh, I remember her piece from her self-portrait, and I was excited about it. Oh, boy, I do hope they pick her to go on. I'd like to see more of what she does. But now is the time for Ken Stott to pick one to take home. And let's see which one he takes home. And again, this is going to be in someone's home, so that's a different standard. All right, beautiful. Yeah, any one of those would have been a nice choice as well. Boy, we've had such great painters so far that uh, I'm a little worried about this last segment. Lydia Leonard is the next one up. She's a British film and TV actress. So what I meant by a little worried is uh, the program does have inconsistency in it. You have such a variety of painters, a variety of backgrounds, a variety of ages and all of that. We've seen really strong painting so far, so I have a feeling we, that might not carry through when it comes to this last group of painters, but um, it, that remains to be seen. So, for, so the easels gets turned around and she gets her first look. We can see that one, it, oh, hello, um, hello, wow, that's a, that's a nice painting. Um, it's, it's, I don't have a lot to say about this painting. It's a really, really fine, beautiful painting. And that's, that's pretty much what I'll say about it. It's not something I'm going to remember. And I'm not sure why. It's a pretty, oh no, pulling back? Yeah, nice job. Really nice job. I, I don't have a problem with this painting at all. Um, good, good, good job. Again, we're working with complementary colors. You've got that green against the red. This person has a, oh, hello, wow, wow. That's a cold painting. Look at the blues and the blues and, oh boy, a lot of blue. <laughs> uh, kind of reminds me of Picasso's blue period, not as much, but uh, you know, it's cold. It's the cold side of the color wheel. Um, yeah, this is just not my preference when it comes to palette choices. And what I'm also gonna say is um, I don't think it resembles her. I, I just don't. All right, here's the next one. Now, this isn't done in pencil, and we've had pencil artists before. Now, the problem is it has to be on a gallery wall, so I'm not, sh I, I, I yet, we, I don't think we've ever had somebody who's doing pencil work go on to the semifinals simply because it's just not a medium that the $10,000 commission is going to be okay with. So, so really nicely done. And it's always curious to me, well, I shouldn't say it's always curious to me. It's just if if, um, if my drawing ability was that good, I would just pick up a paintbrush and do it with a brush. But that's easier said than done. Lydia Leonard picks one to take home. And let's see which one she picks. Oh, my goodness. That's not the one I would have picked. But it's not going in my home. It is going in Lydia's home. So... Uh, but that was not the strongest group. Judging begins. That is when everybody is lined up and three of the contestants are pulled out to go into the semifinal judging. So it must be incredibly nerve-wracking and it's been a really, really long day. Let's see who the first final semifinalist will be for today. Yeah, that's a beautiful painting. Look how lush the paint is. You don't see any of the canvas underneath. There's a lot of layering going on, and look, they just charged the brush. They loaded the brush. Oh, this one. Oh, I think that's a very, very strong contender. Wow. Yeah, it's just a little bit. It's definitely a contemporary painting. Hmm, interesting. Remember that classical painter that we saw at the beginning? I don't know where he ended up. 
Uh, I guess he didn't make it to the end. Ding dang. I would have liked to see more. Well, anyway, and this one. Oh, right, yes, I've, I've liked this one from the very, very beginning. Oh, great. Okay, so we got three great choices. Oh, now we get to see the self-portrait next to what they did today. The self-portrait they had unlimited time to work on and beautiful work, right? There is a difference between the two in terms of the one he had all the time to work on and the one that he did today, but he is absolutely capable of doing the final commission. He's a strong contender. Let's see who the next one is. Oh, this was the classical guy. Oh, he got much looser when it came to what he did today. Wow, he can do it too. Oh, gosh. Okay, I say two people go forward. There's no way you can, you cannot, you cannot make a decision about which one of these painters should go forward. They're both, they've both got the goods. Oh, gosh, it's going to break my heart. Wherever it is, it's going to break my heart. I can feel it. Oh, and I loved hers from the very beginning, too. Oh, gosh. Not a big difference between what she did today and what she did um, in Unlimited Time, except admittedly in the face. There's much more detail in the face. So she's really capable, too. Um, all right. Uh, this is why I don't... <laughs> this is why I could never be a judge of anything. Uh, all three of these go forward for me, and they can all get the commission. But the final judging will now commence. Let's take one more look at our three contestants. They're all fantastic. They had fantastic self-portraits. They did fantastic work today. It's just going to be painful because someone's going to be left behind. Let's see who it is. The winner is... Dun, 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 dun. Ah, yay! Oh, I am looking forward to seeing more of his work. So I'm glad he. we will not be leaving him in the dust. We will be seeing him not the next episode, but in the one after, because that's when we get to the semifinals, the best episode of all. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, and mix for color. Please join my YouTube channel, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.